A lot of men and women hit me up about players and gold diggers. And the reason why men and women hit me up about this is because men and women can be both. Yes, a man can be a gold digger. Yes, a woman can be a player. And players and gold diggers all have the same techniques in common. There are several techniques that they both use to get what they want, whatever that might be. And in this video, I'm gonna show you some of those techniques so you can watch out for them and avoid them. One of the things that players and gold diggers will do is bait and switch. Bait and switch is when they tell you you're gonna get one thing, but then they slip in something else. Trick your ass. So bait and switch for a gold digger or a player could be, hey, I'm gonna cook dinner for you. Um, come over to the crib, I got you. And then instead of cooking dinner, all of a sudden the stove is broke and they tell you to go out and spend $200 on them. Player might get you in a situation where they say, yo girl, I'm gonna take you out to dinner. I got you. You go over their crib, they tell you to meet them at the house. Next thing you know, they're like, oh, I'm real tired, man. You know, can we just order a pizza and stay in? Next thing you know, you butt naked playing Scrabble and they get the draws. Now this move works so well because they get your hopes up. Once they tell you that you're gonna get one thing that you care about, that you actually want, of course you go over there, but then when you do go over there, all of a sudden they got something different for you. If you meet them out somewhere, they always got an excuse not to give you what they promised. It's kind of like when a car dealership advertises a brand new Mercedes, everything loaded in the paper, and you go down there, you're like, yo, I'm about to get this Mercedes, it's gonna be dope. Man, they said the Mercedes was only $10,000. I can't believe it. Then you get down there, it's a used minivan with a hole in the floor and no tires, and they trying to charge you 25,000 for it. That's actually illegal to do in sales, but people do it all the time in relationships. Number two is reversing the narrative. Players and gold diggers love to reverse the narrative. Basically what happens is you start catching them in their lies like bait and switch, little tricks that they try to do on you to get what they want, and then all of a sudden, instead of taking ownership of that, instead of admitting what they're doing and admitting what's happening, they straight change the narrative on you. You come up to them and say, look, I thought we was gonna be going out, but we always end up with this Netflix and chill. What's up? Instead of them saying, yeah, you're right, I should stop doing that. I'm gonna actually take you out and do something nice for you. They go, why you always want me to spend money on you? Why are you always asking for something? Damn, you never wanna just sit and chill with me. It's always gotta be going out, it's always gotta be spending money, it's always gotta be about what you want. Now, you done went out with this person five or six times and every single time has ended up you just chilling at their crib. All you did was ask for a date that they never actually delivered on. And instead of owning that, they make you feel like you're always asking for something when you never get anything. The same thing can be true if you're dealing with a gold digger. It's gonna be the same thing. You might be like, why can't you just chill with me and not spend money? They'll be like, why you always wanna do something for free? Why don't you ever wanna spend money on me? Why you always gotta try to get over? Why you gotta be so cheap? You don't ever do anything for me. But the reality is, You've been doing stuff for them all the time. You've been doing stuff for them over and over again. You've been spending money, and the only time they even want to spend time with you is if they get something out of it. People will often do this where they change the narrative on you and totally reverse it to fit what they want to do next. Now they got you feeling like, maybe I am asking for too much. Maybe I do want too much. You may actually start believing that you're the person who always gets what they want, that you're the person who doesn't want to spend time, or you're the person who doesn't want to spend money when it's really them constantly baiting and switching on you. They'll actually try to get credit for the things that you ask for that they never deliver on by just reversing the narrative. Number three, changing status. Players and gold diggers will straight change status on you. Whenever you start catching them in some of their lies, or whenever you start understanding their manipulative tactics, whenever you start trying to stand up for yourself, all of a sudden, we don't go together. All of a sudden, we ain't even talking. All of a sudden, we're just friends. I don't understand where you're getting this from. 
Why are you coming at me like this when we have no relationship whatsoever? Y'all could have been engaged a week ago. Now when you try to stand up for yourself, you're nothing to them anymore. They try to make it seem like y'all were just buddies all along that used to play ball at the YMCA. Y'all have nothing more than that. All of a sudden, whatever relationship you had before has been downgraded to coworker. Now you just the buddy that they happen to know. They will do anything to prevent you from confronting them or putting them in a position where they have to change their behavior. They'll try to make you crazy by making you feel like even an established relationship wasn't real and all you ever were was friends, coworkers, colleagues, or strangers off the street. Number four, guilty. Players and gold diggers love to pull guilt trips on you. Whenever you start catching them, whenever you start pushing for more, whenever you start increasing your expectations, they will try to throw a guilt trip on you with the quicks. Next thing you know, they're the victim. Oh my God, why are you coming at me like this? I have been through so much in my life and I thought you would understand. Yo, I don't understand why you're coming at me like this. I've been through a lot, you know what I'm saying? Like, I got this to pay for, I got that to pay for. You can't throw me $20? You can't throw me $20? Wow. Next thing you know, you start feeling bad. You're like, damn, I, maybe I should just give him the money. Or damn, maybe I should just come over and back that ass up for Netflix and chill you start feeling like you are actually the bad guy because they're so good at throwing a guilt trip on you, talking about all the things they got going on in their life, all the issues that they've been going through, and making you feel like anything you got going on or anything you feel bad about is trivial and you're actually victimizing them by even asking for more. Number five, punishing. Players and gold diggers are experts at punishing. When you don't give up the money, next thing you know, they start taking away things that you actually care about. So maybe you care about just having good sexual relationships. Maybe you care about cuddling. Maybe you care about spending time with them. Maybe you care about being able to hang out with their children or them hanging out with yours. Whatever the heck it is that you care about, what players and gold diggers will often do is use that to punish you so that you start doing what they want you to do. They'll take the fact that you actually care about them. They'll take the fact that you actually want to hear from them and use that as a method of getting you to do what they want you to do. So if you start trying to call them out for some of the stuff that they're doing or not doing, next thing you know, they might ghost you. They might stop calling you for a while. They might stop hanging out with you for a while. If they have friends or family members that you've made a connection with, they'll try to turn those people against you. They'll do anything to make you feel like standing up for yourself is going to be a greater loss than just sitting there taking their crap. So for most people, what they end up doing is sitting there taking their crap in the long run.